Hey guys, Jagged Kick Minecraft and Delego here. <clears throat> Today I am doing a another video. Of course, finally, it's been a long time already, another week or so since I, since I posted. I might post every week. I don't know, but we'll see how it goes. So yeah. But anyways, as you already know from the title of this video, it is another how to build video, but not just any how to build video. It is a video of how to build your own 1.14, 1.15, and 1.16, um, like, kind of, like, accessory things or, like, parts from, like, updates in Minecraft, so, yeah, or they're just different builds, I mean, so, yeah, you probably already know some of them because they've all been in my reviews, or, like, at least, like, I think, like, only, like, a few, I think all of them have been except for, like, two or three, but, yeah, anyways, though, um, yeah, um, I already have nothing to say really, so yeah, no shout outs or anything like that. But also, the next video after this will be update 7 of the Lego Minecraft world. But however, though, in that video, I said that, um, that this would be my new filming area, but actually, this is the new filming area. But yeah, I actually had, I was gonna make, I was, I had a second Lego Minecraft world on here, but I wanted to move it to my old filming area. It all fits there, but I might re upload update 7 and. Or I remake it and then probably upload it uh, maybe the next time on um, the next time I post. So yeah, but for now this area is the new filming area on my new desk. So yeah, I really like it. So um, yeah, um, yeah. Also, um, there's really nothing to say right now anymore. So yeah, no shoutouts for today. But if you want to shout out, obviously you know everything. You know like everything. Like um, comment down below if you want to shout out. But yeah, I don't want to talk too much, so yeah, that's pretty much enough with the talking. So let's go ahead and uh, get into this um, review. I mean, or like how to build. All right, the first thing I wanted to um, talk about and uh, build is the Hoglin. Now, you already, if you watched my last video, the Crimson Forest, then I already talked about the Hoglin, but it's pretty simple to make, and I will show you how to make it. So. Yeah, first off, you're gonna need these pieces for the legs. I have like, I use reddish brown kind of pieces, like this color to get a little zoom up of it. So, yeah. So I placed them on my gray here. Then in the bottom, I have like these one by six, um, what is it? Yeah, point, I mean, bricks. So I placed them on. So, yeah, we can just, um, do that real quick. So, yeah. I will show you what else in a second. So, yeah just place them on the legs but now um so now that we have that this piece is probably going to not stick but i will show you why because of this so the next part i just kind of did this just for them to like connect so yeah then you can just put this piece in the middle right here with all these one by three bricks so yeah then i place it like right here so yeah but then after that um, the next part, uh, I guess it's simple, I guess. So, you could use a 1 by 2 or whatever kind of piece you have. I use these 1 by 1 so, yeah, place it there. Then, these pieces are here. This, but I will show you that later. So, yeah, these 1 by 3 bricks are here. Then, this part right here. So, and this 1 by 2. Then, place this part right here. But then this part is a little important. We have a clip piece. You're going to want to put it on because that's going to be for the head. So you're going to want to place that right there. Then this piece can hold it on. Then I don't know if you may have this piece, but if you don't, you can use black clips or maybe like black tiles or like plates or, or something like that. I don't know. This piece looked pretty cool for my hog one, so I used it. So yeah, this is what you should have now for the body part. But now it's time for the head. The head part is really simple, so... I will show you how to make that. So, pretty much, um, you can you you need three of these one by <clears throat> three red brown bricks. So, pretty much, you just pile them all on each other. Then at the bottom, you place these one by two light gray plates. So, I'm gonna place them there as well. I can get it in. So, yeah, there we go. So this is what you should have right now. That's pretty much already the complete head. I know there's no eyes, but I'm going to assume work on that, but yeah. Also, then this piece right here is going to connect to the clip, so you want to place it, like, right here. I know it, it's, like, not, like, perfect, like, not even, but because this is an odd amount of studs on the brick. So, yeah, but once you have that, they should connect 
really well. Once you have that, that is the Hoglin. So, yeah, really like the Hoglin. So, we're done with the Hoglin now. So, let's go ahead and get into the next one, which will be the Strider. So, next up is the Strider. So, yeah, we just finished the Hoglin. So, now for the Strider, it was pretty easy to make. Well, yeah. So, pretty much, it was kind of like a, I don't know, like a cube kind of thing. So, I have like a brick right here. So, yeah, I could probably take it out or if I can. I don't know, but yeah um so pretty much this is what i did so there is a brick placed right here so yeah then these um two by three plates so you want to place them on here this is a two by four here then you want to place this one by four plate and then a one by four red plate then a, t a one by two red tile then these two um, parts the, you might not have these in your collection, but if you do get them from the turtle eggs There's at least I think three or four parts from the pirate ship adventures I believe there's four because there's supposed to be three for the regular build but another one for extra pieces if you lose one So yeah, you should have that right now. So yeah, then you use this brick Place it on this is what you should have currently right now, but we'll place the legs in this area, but we're not ready for that part just um, Yet but now the next part um this part is pretty important, so yeah, you have a you're supposed to have at least like a two by four. I, I just use a one by two and a two by three red brick. Then you want to have like pieces like this. It, it doesn't matter really what color they are, but I will tell you what you really need. So yeah, I'll place these. Um, I'll place this aside. So you should have that. Then you should do the same. Then do the same for the other side. So yeah, get. I have a 2x4 here, so we do that. Then, for, for this one, I can, I can also just place this. So you can also use this if you wanted to. So, yeah. Or actually, wait. Um, I realize I messed up, I believe. So, yeah, I, you're supposed to put them in the middle. Never mind, I made a mistake there. So, yeah. Once you have that, um, you have this right here. So, um, pretty much, you have these 1 by four right here plates followed by these two by four plates but the one by four plates in red place them under and then this this is what you should have then when when, when you have that you want to place it on here just like that and you should have like a little cube thing for the strider so yeah that's what you should have then these parts here i don't know what they're called on the strider but they're you should just do this two times if you have these pieces so i have these red clips and also for these pieces so i placed them on like this they're they go on super easily so yeah just um place them on so yeah once we have that you want to place them on the clips so <clears throat> yeah and then this is what you should have but the final part is you need these black leg pieces are here so once you have that you want to place the legs right under this part right here and there we go there is the strider so yeah, so now we've finished both the Strider and the Hoglin, but now it's time for some more nether stuff with some more accessories like the trees and the warped and crimson trees will be next. So we already did the mobs, so we'll move those out of the way, so it's time for the uh, trees. Alright, so next up are the trees. So um, yeah, we have the crimson trees and the warped trees. So we'll get started, I guess, with the crimson trees, I guess, for the trees, so... Yeah, move the warp trees out of the way, we'll get to those later. So, yeah, I guess the crimson trees we'll start with first. Now, I already talked about this in my crimson forest mock, but the way to do it, um, so you're supposed to have five, um, two by two light, I mean, not light gray, dark gray bricks, stack them all on top of each other, and then you should have this. Once you have that, get two two by fours in red two two by four bricks you want to make sure you have them because you need it for this part or else if you don't have that they're just going to fall off if you try to make one so yeah but you want to make sure you have those pieces so it won't but now the next part um um don't so don't put the pieces i'm going to do right here on because they're going to fall off and you need a part for it so um we have i have a um i have two one by two red bricks but you can also use a two by two red brick if you wanted to and you want to put it on top of this two by four red plate and once you have that you want to um get a one by six brick and then a one by four or you can make an or you can put a one by six here maybe 
leave the 1x4 and then maybe put a 1x4 here so it can be perfect. But, I don't know, this is how mine's going to be for now. So, yeah, once you have that, place it on like this and you should have your first crimson tree done. So that is the crimson tree. Then the second one, um, it is different. It's like the, it's the netherrack maroon color. So the same thing for the last tree, stack five bricks on each other. But now um, for this tree, we're gonna make this a little different. So get this like flat like piece right here. It's a plate that is a four by four. So yeah, just like a square. Once you have that, you want to, um, I know it's a little dusty, but yeah. But you want to um, get these bricks right here. And yeah, you wanna place them on the edges right here. These two by two red red maroon color so yeah then after that get these one by six right here or you can make i guess like a or i guess maybe like a two i guess like maybe a two by six brick but i use one by six bricks so you know, once you have that place them on like this then you should have something like this but the final part is get one more of this piece place it straight in the middle so yeah just like that once you have that the final part is to put this part right there once you have that there is your final crimson tree so the crimson trees look pretty cool i think they look really cool so yeah we're done with the crimson trees now so yeah, i guess it's time to get into the warped um trees so yeah i'll get into those right now so yeah i'm not gonna cut ahead because i was talking about this part of the video so yeah, here are the warped trees. So the warped trees, they're a little different to make, but I will show you. So, um, for this one right here, you're, if you have four 2x2 two two light gray bricks, then that's perfect. You need to just stack them four on four, but yeah, this is just different though. So yeah, I know I use like kind of like Technic or something, but yeah. But once you have that, you want to probably like get this right here. I have this under mine, so yeah. But then once you have that, you want to get at, get like a 2x6 blue brick, I guess, right here. Then I guess 2 2x2 two two blue right here, and then they maybe like a 2x2 two two blue brick in the center. So pretty much it's that simple. I think you can at least make this tree. But yeah, I'm just trying to help here. So yeah, that's the smaller one. But this is the biggest tree out of all of them, so yeah, I will do this. And also, when I say don't mind noise in the background, I mean it really. Don't mind noise in the background, so yeah. But this is the final one, so let's talk about that. So, I mean, the, so this one is the biggest one out of all the nether trees, but yeah. Um, This one has, it's a little different, but it's like, kind of like these parts right here. It's kind of like parts I used from the Bastion mock, but yeah. And also this 2 by 6 plate is right here. So we can just put it, I guess we can, I don't know, I don't think I can take it off. But yeah, it's just going to be there. So yeah, then also you can maybe put like a 2 by 6 blue brick. And then maybe like, I, you can put 2, uh, I guess, um, 2 by 4. So pretty much you can just do that and then place another one right here. Like on um, these kinds of bricks right here. So place them like this and then you can add another one right here. But I just do the I do this with the two by threes, but I don't know. And if you already have that, then it should look something like this. Then if you have that, then you should get at least like some kind of blue a two by two brick and place it on like that. So yeah, then after that, we'll place these parts down, and there is your blue um, warped tree. So those are the warped trees and the crimson trees so yeah now that's done with that section so now let's get into the final parts of the 1.16 and then we'll um get into like 1.15 and 1.14 which there's only like two or three parts of that part so yeah of the 1.15 and 1.14 so yeah anyways those are the crimson and warp trees so let, let's go ahead and get into the next part so these are the final parts of the 1.16 um area right now in the um how to build video but yeah but these are the final parts here. They're just small elements, but yeah. The first one is, you can see right, as you can see right now, is the um, nether gold. It's a ore, but except it's, again, it's another ore, but with gold. It's not like the regular overworld where it's actually gray, but like, but except it's like this maroon color, which represents the netherrack. But yeah, this is what they look like in Minecraft, but yeah. 
LS Motion Lego Minecraft Studios did this like as well. So yeah, I did it as well because it looks it's really easy to make. So yeah, it's pretty much just the same way to make a regular orb, except you need just parts like that. So I don't know if we really need to talk about this part too much, so we'll move that to the side. But ancient debris. Now the ancient debris. I don't know, I, I tried with the ancient debris, but I didn't know how to really make the ancient debris. So I was thinking of using like white gray and some white studs maybe, and then some maroon, like a maroon color. So I don't know, I also, maybe some like brown and gold parts, but I don't know. This is, this is my ancient debris. So yeah, you can maybe just look around it maybe, I guess. I don't know. I can maybe just, um, I can maybe do another how to build thing. Maybe I can do this in a separate video, but I don't know. This is just the ancient debris here. Now, for these ones, they are, these are going to be the simple ones. For this kind of mushroom, I don't know what these are called. I think this is the crimson one. And, I don't know, crimson or warped? I believe it's the crimson. So, yeah. Under here, there's just a black kind of stud and then this, like, turquoise blue color. Then these parts, um, are the final parts, I believe these are also crimson. And so, like, they're on these brown parts right here. This is, like, a brown flower piece and then just a brown one by one so yeah then just and then these are the flower pieces here the new flower pieces they these first came in 2018 so yeah and and at the bottom of it there's some orange then some light blue and do the same for this one so yeah but anyways the, that's pretty much all of it for 1.16 so now let's get into the 1.14 i guess there was a, there was really no 1.15 thing so yeah, there's only, like, two things to talk about, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get into those parts. And we'll get to the bigger one, or we'll get to the biggest part of it in the at the end. So, yeah, let's talk about the final two. So, these are the final two parts of the video, or the how to build. <clears throat> and, the, <clears throat> and these are from the 1.14 area, I believe, or I don't know. Or they might be a 1.15, I, I, I don't know, really. But all I know is that these are the final ones here to talk about in this video, but, yeah. The fossil will be last because this is the biggest one here. So, yeah, I'm going to save the biggest for last, as I just said. So, yeah. But I guess we'll talk about the beehive tree of how we made it. So, yeah. Also, LS Motion and LEGO Minecraft Studios, they made theirs different. But this is going to be mine. So, yeah. Let's talk about the beehive first. Or I'll, I'll get just to the regular beehive part first. Then I'll talk about the tree. So, yeah. I'll just move the tree out of the way. So, the beehive was pretty simple. You just need, like, two by two um tan plates or you can also use two by two um, tan jumper plates as well and like put them on it and then these kinds of colors are here with this oak kind of color like oak wood in minecraft so yeah like that and they can be like jumper plates or maybe just two by two plates i don't know they can both work but you want them to like at least be like perfect aligned so yeah just like that so yeah that's how the beehive <clears throat> is made but the tree is Kind of the thing I made. So I stacked like three of the two by two um, brown bricks, as you know, because that's what you use to make the trees. But then this two by four here is right here. And yeah, this two by four is right here. So, and I placed this bee, I placed the beehive right here. So yeah, just place it there. And then this part right here, then I didn't have the, um, like another two by two, so I just place this kind of slope. But it, well, whenever you like make the tree like this, it just automatically covers it. Then the tree should just be like that. So that is the beehive tree. Looks pretty cool. So yeah. But now the final part of this video will be the fossil, the big part of the video. But yeah, it's time for the building part of it. So yeah, I'll get to that part first. So yeah, I'll get to that first right now. So. Yeah, I'm going to take off these parts right now of the fossil. And this is what you should have right now. This is mine. So this is like, this is what you first want to have. And this is what it looks like underneath. This is what it looks like. So you can maybe pause the video if you need to. And then also like put some like tiles and, and like plates and all that maybe in tan. Whatever pieces you have just to represent, I believe, sand. And also this little entrance with tiles here. So yeah. But, um, every part here I'm gonna make, so pretty much, um, everything here I'm making right now is all gonna be the same. So, yeah, I have, like, these kinds of pieces right here, so, yeah, in white. If you could take a look at that, so, yeah. So you can pause the video if you need to to look at that, so, yeah, that is that part. 
then do the same thing again but just like the opposite way but now we're gonna do this if you look under now this could be this could also be a two by six if you want to but these are just two by three plates so yeah you can also have two two by sixes it'll be the same so yeah then place um all of this right here it can be bricks or plates or anything just make sure it's like this once you have that place it on top just like oh, mine broke just place it on top then just like that and yeah and after that place it like this and that is the part of the fossil so yeah so since you have that now make this two more times and um yeah since you have that now i want to place them like this i just have to line it up perfect so yeah just do that so there's that but the final part is this part it's this really long thing right here and under it is just bricks right here I will, this is a two by eight right here and then a two by eight right here two by eight bricks and then the center is a two by four brick in white then after that once you have that you want to connect them all with plates and tiles so that's what i did so once you have that you want to place it straight in the middle um so yeah, just place it straight in the middle and um yeah i'm just gonna try to get it in there because i don't want to break it so yeah all right so there we go and it should be perfect so yeah they should be like three or so off so yeah so yeah that now that is that part right there so yeah i think now i could yes there we go and that is the fossil so yeah there we go and i also already did a separate mock of this fossil but yeah but anyways that is pretty much it now so yeah i just placed everything to the side in this whole video i know it's like a mess here so yeah but yeah i just placed everything to the side during this whole video when i was doing things but yeah that's pretty much everything um we have here so yeah for today and um yeah anyways i will fix this stuff and place it back in my minecraft world and all that so yeah anyways guys comment like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video i post so anyways guys goodbye for now